Welcome everybody to the Shallow Water Adventures. I'm Jeffrey and you're not Keith. Nope, not Keith. Where's Keith? What's the deal? So we don't have Keith. Luckily, we have a very special co-host with us today. We've got Glade Harris from BPS as our special co-host. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. No um, We're missing Keith today. Keith is at home sick today. Thank you. Thank you. Faking sick today, possibly. Um, he says he's got like I, I don't know. I think he's probably got a man cold. Man cold. Man cold. You know what a man cold? You know? Um, do you believe in the man cold? Uh, it may or may not be true. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna admit to anything. <laughs> because your wife's probably watching. I get it. Um, no, I'm a, I'm a big believer in the man cold. Yeah. No, if I have a cold, everything shuts down. It all stops. There's no. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I can't, I can't get out of bed. I can't no, make my own. Definitely can't do the dishes. Cereal. I can't clean the garage. The laundry. None I of that. definitely can't come to work. Right. <laughs> yep. Just kidding. I no, that's that's awesome. So, uh, but we do have Keith. Will be watching with us. He's going to be able to answer all of your questions. So don't hesitate to send those in. We're going to get to those. But luckily, uh, you also know some of these answers just a little. I might. Yeah, might you know might know some too. of this stuff. Sure. So how's everything at BPS? What's been going on in uh, backwater performance it's land? Good, man. It's busy, super busy. Phones are busy. All the salesmen are tied up you yeah. know, all the time. So, yep, selling lots of parts, performance stuff. All the performance accessories, stuff. Accessories, you name it. So what's your big what's your big seller right now? What do you sell most of? Um, props right now. Everybody's getting ready for the season. Most of the country. Some has already started. Some's about to start. Yes. So people are just getting their boats ready to go for the season. Absolutely. We're going to start on Saturday. Yep. Are you going out? Are you going to be out on, on I, first day? I am. I am. Yep. Nice. I'll be out. I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to like sneak into some parking lots. There you go. And just watch the massacre <laughs> of everybody trying to park. That's my goal. Yeah. I think it'll be awesome. Yeah. Um, so that's really exciting. I also have the uh, trusty Android whatever this piece of crap is and uh, I'm gonna be able to answer your questions so that's really good okay so uh, before we get started though with everything else we've got a really fun uh, we got a really fun show for you today but first I, I want to hear you've got a great story those of you who follow us on the podcast and if you don't follow us on the podcast shame on you but for those of you who know, uh, you are our guest last week on our podcast, which yep. was really awesome. It was a brilliant episode. Uh, but I want I want to share with everybody what what you shared with us there because it's it's a great story. Sure, sure. So um, so we were we went to Florida uh, with our one of our dealers, Sid uh, Fast Duck Motors in Central Florida. Um, he told us there was alligators there, so we went we flew down, and uh, we we're planning on a four day hunt. Um, it uh, it was real tough. Uh, super high water. The uh, the alligators were pretty shy. Um, couldn't get a hook in one. In Florida, you cannot shoot them. You cannot. Um, you, you can't catch them on bait. So you've got to catch them on rod and reel or some kind of a, a treble hook. Uh, so what you do is you kind of idle around in these boats, and and they'll be up on the surface of the water. You try to get close enough to where you can cast a big giant treble hook over the top of their back, snag them and then fight them into the boat where you can get them close enough to hit in the head with a bang stick. Well, long story short, um, it took us, you know, uh, an extra day to finally get it done, but we did get it done. Uh, we'll, we'll have a pretty cool video coming out here shortly. And everybody will be able to see the whole thing. Yeah, really, really awesome. And, and a big gator. Yeah, yeah, really, he's a beast. <laughs> yeah, 10 footer. How long did it take you from the time you actually hooked it to the time you got into the boat? Uh, it was about 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. Yeah, he drug us all over the place. Yeah. Snapped fishing rods in half. And, and you caught it by the tail? Uh, the, the, was hook it by was, the... the hook, the first hook was in the tail, yeah. which is even worse. I mean, how are you going to pull the <laughs> yeah. by its tail? Yeah. Really yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's going to be awesome. So when do you think that video, do we have a time frame? It's still uh, being worked on? About a month or so. About a month or so. Yep. I'm excited to see it. It's going to be it's, really crazy. Yeah, it's awesome. That's cool. that's really awesome. Well, again, thank you for being here and stepping in for uh, Keith, who is at home. Like I said, for those of you just joining us, Keith is at home with some sort of illness. In fact, why don't we do this? Since I'm not really sure what it is that he has, why don't we go ahead and maybe you, everybody out there, start listing what you think may or may not be wrong with uh, <laughs> Keith. And whoever guesses it right uh, gets a prize. So let's do that. That'll be awesome. Nice. Um, I'm going to do some shout outs here. Uh, let's see. We got Jackson Hill. Uh, five, she says five bucks says he's better by Saturday. Yes. I mean, obviously. Um, we've got uh, Timothy Floyd is on with us. Kelly Davis is in Tooele. Hey, Kelly. 
Uh, we got Joe Christensen, big fan of the show. He's watched us. Uh, he's great. He he uh, snagged some prizes last last week. He's 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 with us. Nice. We like Joe. Uh, Gary Collins, what state are you guys in? Uh, we are in Utah. We're in Utah right now. In fact, that's uh, brings me to my next point. If you ever see us, just uh, book it. <laughs> We're in the middle of a of a sentence and we just run it's it's supposed to rain really heavy here today and we're outside and it's been really hot yep it's we were supposed beautiful. to have mr weatherman said we were going to have a month's worth of rain last night and we had a little brief storm yep. nothing really happened so we're a little disappointed it's been a really dry summer so we're really hoping for the rain but it is starting to cloud up really bad so it it may rain so if we run that's why <laughs> you'll know why we will scramble away I'm afraid of the rain. I mean, the electronics. You probably don't care that much. I'm in a boat. I'm fine. You're in a boat. <laughs> Let me float away. It'll be okay. Uh, let's see. Gary Collins. Uh, Matt Cowell's on. Hey, Matt. Chase, Casey Morgan. Brandon Smith. Hey, guys. How's it going? It looks like we've got some good questions coming in here, too. And we're going to get to your questions here a little bit after. But first, let's get into uh, our, our first uh, segment of the show today. We're going to deep dive into some gun boxes today. Um, everybody should have their, their blind bag or their gun box with stuff prepared. Um, this so, you know, you're not always scrambling along in, you know, 12 o'clock at night trying to get all your stuff prepared. Yep. How often does that happen to you, even still? I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, I try to not let it happen much at all. I've got too many boats and I've got, you know, stuff scattered throughout all of them. Right. But uh, I try to keep, you know, a redundancy somehow. So if I do forget something, hopefully I've got a spare. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your boat. So this is a 20-foot Widowmaker boat with a brand new uh, HDR40 that has been outfitted with our newest uh, performance kit that brings it up to about 55 horsepower. Yikes, that thing looks like a beast. Yeah. Yep. So that muffler, that that's a your newest muffler, yep. that's available? Yep, that's our rapid muffler and Yikes. it is available. Yep. It looks amazing. Um, you have a lot of orders, I imagine, yeah. for, that, for that bad boy. That's at BPS. You go to backwaterperformancesystems.com, and you can get a, you can get a hold of that. Yep. Because that's, that's a beast. Yep, along with all the performance parts and everything you see inside the boats. Very nice. And this is a 20-footer. 20 20-footer, 20 it's a big one. Yeah. But we usually haul a lot of decoys. So. A lot of decoys, dogs. How many guys do you generally go with? Um, usually not more than three. But right. we've got usually three dogs and uh -huh. at least 100 decoys. I got gotcha. you. Very good. So I am representing Keith. Keith was supposed to be here and doing all of this. So I am representing him and his gear that he's got in our boat. Dig into his And we're going to dig in. We're going to see what Keith really has, you know, how prepared he all actually right. is with us today. Um, so I was thinking maybe you could start, you show us something, and then we'll sure. have the camera swing over, and I'll pull something out, and we'll just kind of go through this for a little bit. Keep your questions coming. I'll try and keep an eye on them. If not, we will answer them at the end. All right? Got it. So let's get started. What do you got for us? All right. Let's see. What do we have first? Um, so probably one of my most important things that I keep is binoculars. Um, I don't go anywhere without binoculars in the boat. Uh, this is how we hunt here. Uh, we've got so much public property that there's miles and miles and miles and miles to, to go and find birds. So we'll start out glassing for rafts of ducks and uh, that'll tell us where we want to hunt for the day. Um, so that's my number one yeah, thing. Smart. Binoculars. Good. All right, let's see. I'm going to dig in. Let's see what I got here. This is our, uh, this is our new deep uh, dry bag. Sweet. We just got sent in from deep. We're excited about these. Oh, let's see what I got here. Okay. So this is a this is a Camp Chef striker, you know Keith likes to eat and is an incredible cook. <laughs> that's true. And he likes to eat even a little more. True. So and that's what that's what he's got in there. So that's a that's a striker. That's a pretty nice little uh, little to go, to go thing. Boil boil yeah. some water. Boil some water and, and, you know, he could cook up his whatever. Yeah. All right. Nice. Good one. Good job, Keith. That's a good start. <laughs> yeah. All right. What else you got for us? Oh, uh, let's see. So, I always keep a first aid kit. This is actually, uh, it started life as a dog first aid kit. It's got all sorts of everything you need for, you know, iodine and cold compresses, um, suture kit, thermometers, super glue, but I've also thrown in a bunch of, you know, stuff that'll work for humans and dogs. Uh, we've always got dogs in the boat and, you know, if any uh, tear their pads, uh, get caught in a barbed wire fence, something like that that could be trip ending, we can usually, you know, patch them up good enough to, to get them by. That is so smart. You know, in fact, we did a, 
Uh, our second our second episode uh, on the podcast, again, back to the podcast, uh, talking with J. Paul Jackson and Freddie King about some dog care and, and really caring for those dogs. And I have not worked with dogs a lot, so it was really fascinating to listen to some of these things that you really got to be aware, aware of, like uh, heat stroke being one of the big ones. For sure, yeah. Which they, I thought was fascinating. They, they don't have an off switch. You yeah. Know, when, <laughs> yes. when, when there's a, something to go retrieve. They do not care what's in the way. Right. It can be ice. It can be you know barbed wire or or you know uh, it's frag mighties go up inside of their arms. There's a million different things, yeah. and they don't care, and they won't let you know that they're hurt. Right. So you always got to be watching. Got to be watching. Yep. That's awesome. Brilliant. Very smart. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, all right. I guess this goes along with his cooking. This is a. <laughs> all right, Keith. This uh, you've got a. It's a breakfast hash. <laughs> I guess he's gonna use that for the for the can the stove. He's you know so he can eat. I see. You know, it's uh, first things first. You yeah. know, most important. Yeah, that's uh, pretty important. Freeze dried, breakfast hash. All right, I guess. Yeah. It's not as good as the the uh, binoculars, but whatever. All right, all right. Let's uh yeah go ahead. All right, next. Um, so we'll go with some more safety and the fire extinguisher. Uh, most states require it, uh, depending on what length your boat is. But uh, you know, just a basic fire extinguisher always sits in here. It's pretty simple. Yeah, smart. Yeah, good one. We uh, uh, not in his bag, but we do have one in our boat. It's uh, it's required for our boat, so we are we are safe with that. Um, always always necessary. All right, let's see. What the crap is this? Is that a head of lettuce? <laughs> what the hell, Keith? What is that? A head of lettuce? Why is that in your bag? I don't know what he's gonna do with that. With what is the, he gonna do with that? With the uh, breakfast hash? He's gonna like boil, like yeah, like but maybe <laughs> spinach, maybe, but like a head of iceberg lettuce. Hmm. Keith, that's weird. That's weird. That's really weird, Keith. I don't know what about the I lettuce. I see a theme forming. I food. Yeah, food. Yeah, food. I'm get. I get it. All right. I guess your turn. All right. So the reason why we have a gun box is for the gun. Optifade Benelli. That's what the gun box is for. Nice. Yeah. That's what we hunt with. That's awesome. Optifade Benelli. The Optifade Benelli. Is that, that's a uh, automatic. Yep. Super Black Eagle three, three. Three shot. Yep. It, well, it'll hold more than that. It'll but, hold more than that. Yep. But hunting waterfowl, you gotta have. You three. gotta have. Yeah. You gotta. Yep. Yes. But snow geese. But yep. All and right. Tangle free floating case. That is very nice. Very very nice. Yes, sir. All right. Well, let's see what what uh, Keith's got in. I think his gun is his gun's in here somewhere. <laughs> Keith, that is not a real gun. Apparently, this is no wonder Keith doesn't get any guns. Or I mean geese. Or I mean ducks. Tra training wheels. Training you got, wheels. You, you know. Start somewhere. I guess you know this is all that he's allowed to have. Yeah, I, I get it. Good job, Keith. So far, win. Good <laughs> job. Really good job. That's a sweet gun. That is not an automatic. No. Not so uh, Keith, Keith with the toy gun for the win. It's nice. Gotta get really close. Gotta get really <laughs> close. You really lean heavily on the dogs yeah. for this one. Yeah. Yes. Got it. All right, what's next? All right, so uh, throwable flotation. Got to have this along with the, the you know, life jackets. Yes. We have to have some kind of throwable flotation. Somebody falls out of the boat or in deep water, throw it out there, and uh, they can hopefully get back in the boat. Nice. Okay. Let's see. What else is in this bag? Oh, well, that's actually a little useful. Next person to comment that I see come up gets this one free. I don't know why Keith's got that, but this is our new, uh, this I, is the one I you're know, wearing. I know all about it. Yes! So this is our new uh, flat-brimmed um, trucker hat with the with the little XL on the side of it. Who's going to get it? Coming up, I'm going to go with uh, Logan Kinsey. You're the one. Logan, this hat is coming to you. At the end of this uh, episode, I will post a link at the top. And it will be right at the top of all the comments. You can go up there and just click that link, and you'll be able to fill in a little information, and we're going to send that right off to you. All right. I guess it's still my turn. No, no, it's your turn. My turn. No, I pulled that. Pulled out the hat. All right, let's get to... Uh, this is our just-in-case kit, we call it. Just-in-case. Yep. So 
So it's just a waterproof box and it's got kind of my uh, repair kit in it. Uh, we've got a portable jump starter uh, in case you run your battery down. Uh, it also will charge your cell phone as well. Uh, extra belts. We've got extra kill switch. We've got extra trim relays. We've got an extra key switch. We've got circuit breakers, spark plugs, uh, fuel filter, extra set of keys, trim switch, trim switch, extra throttle cable. Yes. There's a there's a tip for you. Keep an extra throttle cable. Keep an extra in throttle your cable. Um, there's half of the phone calls in the winter yeah. are from frozen throttle cables. Yes. There's ways that you can prevent it from happening, but it, the easiest way is just to keep an extra throttle cable in a dry box in your boat, and if you happen to have one freeze up on you, that you're not going to get it thawed. So the best way to, is just swap it out. It takes five minutes. Yep, swap it out. You've also got screwdrivers in there. Keith talks about that all the time. How you, if you don't have any tools, he can't help you. Yeah. There's, we're not going to be able to get anything switched for that. Yep, basic tools, screwdrivers, a couple common, you know, uh, 5 sixteenths, yep. uh, 3 eighths, wrenches, and 9 sixteenths, whatever, and uh, pretty much handle most of the issues on the on the motor. Smart. Very smart. I guess it's my, I guess it's, I guess it's my turn. Let's see what else Keith has got in a little bag. What the hell is that? <laughs> Keith. Keith, is that a bra? What are you doing with the bra in your bag, dude? Oh my god. And a pink lacy one? I mean, at least camo. At least get a camo bra, man. Jeez, now I, uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna he's put got that. got some extracurricular things going on while he's. No, I, I guess, uh, sheesh. Keith, man. I, we never knew. I had no idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that's it. Anything else you want to show? Uh, just the last, last little one. thing is, a, is an oar paddle. Got to yep. have one of these. Uh, Utah state law anyway. Got to have extra, you know, uh, alternative propulsion in the boat. Yes. That's it. Awesome. All right. Well, good. As I yawn, it's been a long day at work. You think we're gonna get a rain? I just felt the rain. I know a little bit of raindrop. If we if we go running, just a second. That's why. Um, I want to get into some of these questions here. Hopefully, Keith Keith has been sending me really mean messages this whole time. Actually, <laughs> I'm sure he has. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get into these. Let's see. I got that one. Um, Casey Morgan, do you have sponsored anyone selling in Delaware? Um, you know, I'm not sure if we've got a dealership in Delaware. Is the, Your best option is going to go to the website or here on Facebook. I'm trying to think where you'll be. Right down the side of this list on the Facebook, there will be, um, there's a little tab that says dealers. And you can go right there. You can type in your zip code and it will show you all of the dealers around there. It's going to be your best bet. Also on the website, both on the XL website and on the Mud Buddy website, you can find dealer lists. Yep. Um, Nick Nay, hello from Minnesota. Hey, um, let's see. <laughs> Joe Christensen, Keith has the duck flu. <laughs> <laughs> the bird flu. The bird flu. Yeah, I have Seriously. the bird flu. Yeah, he's got the bird flu. He's never in work anymore. He's, yeah. He's, yeah. Um, John Haley, hello from Wisconsin. I love my 40 EFI surface drive. Yes, very nice. John, for that, I'm going to send you. This is a tangle-free Sitka um, Optifade hat. I'm gonna send that to you. That is for, um, who did I say? I just said that name and then it, it moved away. John Haling is who that's gonna be. John Haling, click the link when, as soon as this broadcast is over and we're gonna get that sent off to you. All right? Nice. Very nice. Um, oh, we've got uh, Chris Hoover from Manitoba. Nice. Very nice. Brandon Smith, what's up? Georgia, by the way. <laughs> okay. Sean Peter Kinsella says, hello from Georgia. By the way, there's a guy on the roof. <laughs> They're working on our... Uh... What are they working on? <laughs> They're doing know. something. They've been here for two or three days. So good job for seeing the guy on the roof just for that. <laughs> um, I'm going to do... Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Easter egg. Let's do... Uh, I'm going to send you the gunsling. 
Um, by the way, we got a guy on the roof, Sean Peter Kinsella. You get the, uh, this is from Tangle Free as well. It's a gunsling right there. Click the link and we'll get that sent off to you. Awesome, that's a good one. I like those gunslings. Yeah. And Tangle Free has been really awesome to us this, this year. They've really done, they've stepped up. They sent us a lot of prizes, so we're really grateful yeah. uh, for all the help that they've done in getting this show up and running. Yeah, their line of stuff is awesome. They've, yeah. they've gone from selling decoy lines to everything you everything. could possibly imagine to hunt ducks. They are really great. I also follow them on uh, Facebook, and they post up a lot of really cool just tips and tricks, all sorts of stuff like that, which is fun. Yep. They, they do a good job. Cool company. Cool company. Uh, okay, let's see. John Haley says they've had some bad storms rolling through. Like and share. Oh, Thank you, thank you, uh, let's see who just said that. Mike Pallet says liked and shared. That was really awesome, thank you. And I, cause I always forget, we want everybody to like and share the page as much as possible. And Keith and I are the worst at <laughs> even remembering to ask people to do that. So thank you, um, liked and shared. Mike Pallet, I'm gonna send you, oh, which one is this? Oh, this is the duck strap. This is also from Tangle Free. They're so awesome, this duck strap. I'm gonna send that to you, Mike Pallet. That is for you. Thank you for reminding me. So everybody out there, please like, share. If you're watching this later on on YouTube as well, subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell right there. It'll give you a notification every time we're on a new video lands. Um, that way you won't miss anything and you'll know when Keith comes back from the dead. All right. I'm picking up my Prodigy with an HDR 5000 this Friday. That's that's Chris Harris. Lucky you. That is going to be amazing. Is there upgrades for them? There is. Uh, so we've got a brand new kit that we just kind of uh, just barely put out this week. It's got uh, aftermarket cam. Uh, it's also got a tuner. Um, so give us a call and we'll give you all the details. But that'll bump you up to about 55 horsepower. Yikes! Yeah, that's awesome. Yep, that's what this one's got in it. That's what that one's got in it. Yep. All right. So what's the number they're calling? Uh, our phone number is... <laughs> <laughs> Keith never remembers. I always ask yeah. Keith and he's like, one? 385-695-3807. Awesome. Or you can go to backwaterperformancesystems.com and they will get you hooked up. That's that's awesome. Yep. I'm excited for that. Yep. Um, besides that, anything else coming on along there that you can talk about? I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> All sorts of stuff All coming. All sorts of stuff coming. Um, the, right now we're just kind of barely hanging on answering phone calls. Right. So we're yes. doing all we can. Yes. All right. Um, lots of snow in Manitoba. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I wish I was in Manitoba right now. Yeah, right. It's been so hot today. Manitoba snow. They, this is the BPS hat. This there is this is from you guys. Yep. Um, that's our camel hat, flex fit cap. That's a really sweet hat. Um, lots of Chris Hoover. That is for you. Uh, so click the link. Like I said, that's going to be up on the, uh, the top of these comments as soon as we are done. Um, Brocatmo, awesome idea, Glade. Nice. Um, John Haling asks Chris. I don't. He's asking Chris. I, we're the stars here. I don't know why you're asking Chris anything. Just kidding. Uh, he's asking if there are a lot of birds. You know, and uh, what do you thought? Have you seen a lot of birds out and about in here? your scouting? Yeah, there's lots. There's always lots uh -huh. preseason. Yeah. Uh, the first you know, kind of a uh, group of, of hunters goes in there and, yeah. and kind of spreads them all around and pushes some out. And then we just kind of have a little bit of a lull until yeah. until the next group shows up. Yeah. But yeah, there's plenty here now. Yeah. Well, uh, yes, there are a lot. Not as many as in Manitoba, though, I'm Not sure. <laughs> okay, so now they're getting into... Oh, let's... Riley and Hannah Adams... Breakfast salads. When I pulled out the, uh, <laughs> the yeah. lettuce, breakfast, breakfast salads. Hash yes, breakfast wraps. hash wraps. Lettuce wraps. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Darren House loves your shotgun. Thank you. He's had me cause. Yep. Lots of. <laughs> it's starting to rain a little bit. Okay, Brooks Catmull, what dry storage bag is that? This, I like that question. This is brand new. We just got, this is from Deep Apparel, um, which is helping us out. Uh, they're, they're sponsoring us. They've got us some stuff. We're going to be giving away some of their stuff in a little bit. They do a lot of really great fishing gear. 
Um, and they just sent us this to to try out. This is their brand new um, their new dry bag. It's really awesome. We even put our sticker on it. But um, keep an eye out for these. These may end up in our uh, online store on the XL page. Cool. So those are really awesome. We're really fortunate to have that, and we love everybody out at Deep Apparel. They've been they're really awesome. Nice. They've got some they've got some cool stuff. Yeah, like cool shirts cool. and sweatshirts and all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah. You may or fishing. may not be giving one away. Those away later this season. Right, we may or may not be giving one of these away towards the end of the season. Cool. I am told by our producer Amber, who knows all all these things. Can I tune in? Yes. Yeah, all right. Tune in. Yeah. Everybody, tune in. All right. You can win. <laughs> okay. Keith has threatened my life like three or four times. Yeah, I, I get that. I believe it. Um, do you know Cody King? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm just making sure. <laughs> he asks, has Glade been lifting weights? No. It's his comment. <laughs> if, if, if weights are 12 ounces at a time, then yes, I have been. <laughs> oh, that sounds amazing. I think we should lift some more 12 ounces right now. Um, very good. Glade, how about a just... Oh, okay. Joe Christensen, Glade, how about a just in case for long tails? What would you change I, I in can that do case? That. Yeah, um, it's not going to have things like um, trim switches, right, or trim relays. But yeah, we could definitely put one of those together. Just call up Travis or Corbin, uh, phone number I said a minute ago, and yeah. we'll build you whatever kind of kit you want with the with the battery stuff and the key switches and everything that would pertain to a long tail. Yes, very good. Okay, um, Brian Rutherford, any warranty on the 5000 HDR? Um, I'm going to let Keith answer you um, on that one. He'll tell you exactly what it is. I could list that out, and I'm sure I would say it all wrong. So Keith will answer you on that if he hasn't already. It's very possible that he may have already. How do you guys do? Oh. Thank you, Brooks. Yeah, the, the, loving the videos. Thank you so much. We, we appreciate it. Keep watching. Got lots of fun stuff coming. Um, Jacob, I need one of those hats. Should have come with my boat. Love the 1854 F4 with the 37 EFI. That's a great boat, great rig. Yep. It's a really good setup. Good combo. Uh, hello from Ontario, uh, Ontario, Canada. Uh, that's Hunt Fish Life Outdoors. Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for watching. Still ripping my 35 HD Sport. I love those 35s as well in Iowa. But you're ready for an upgrade. Matt Kittleson, do it. Upgrade, man. We're here for you. Just oh, yeah. give us a call. Get those big, heavy dogs. And, oh, yeah. And that, then you can bring all this crap that we've got in these boats and still get up on plane if you have a little more performance. Uh huh. Absolutely. And it's just more fun. Yep. You know, get something new. Like, it's Christmas time coming up. So, <laughs> Treat you know, yourself. time to grab a new one. Although, the sooner you get that order in, the sooner you'll actually get it. Don't wait, because we have a lot of these. Um, hello from South Arkansas, Pennsylvania, Jackson Hill, only three days to go, you guys all set and ready, yes? Oh yeah. We are. Yep, as soon as I leave here, I'm going scouting. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you are. We don't see a lot of, like, Dave is not around very much anymore. Yeah. Weird. Keith, Clint, nobody's here. It's yeah. just like dead, and will be ever that after. Bird flu is contagious. Bird flu is so contagious. <laughs> Uh, Michael Loser headed to Sas Saskatchewan. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. <laughs> Saskatchewan. Very cool. That's awesome. Send us some pictures from Saskatchewan. Um, okay, here's one for you. Bubba Ramsey, how easy is it to do the EFI upgrades? It depends on which kit you're talking about. Um, the, the first stage is all bolt-on stuff. Super mm -hmm. simple. Takes uh, three hours in your garage. Right. Uh, some of the more complicated ones, you go inside, change pistons and rods and things like that. Uh, a little bit more time consuming. Uh, definitely not uh, difficult to do at all. Um, you know, if you can change a spark plug uh, on your lawnmower, then you can put these kits in with our instructions. Awesome. Yep, simple. Very good. Uh, great, great answer. I appreciate that. Um, let's see, I need to give away a few more things before we get going. Where was Saskatchewan? Who was that? I gonna because I butchered, I couldn't even speak. <laughs> you should feel bad about it. I really do, you know, like I and now I can't find it. Oh here we go. Michael Luzier. I'm gonna send you 
This is the Lucky Duck Tumbler. This is really, really awesome. Get a close-up of this in copper. Put your cup of coffee in there. It'll stay warm all day. Thank you from Lucky Duck Decoys. They're awesome. They've been helping us out a lot, too. We love them. They're amazing. Yep. Um, Michael Luzier, that is for you. Click the link as soon as this is over um, that I'm going to post, and we'll get that sent out to you. I'm trying to finish this up before it starts raining. It's, <laughs> it's raining coming. a little harder. Luckily, this isn't mine, so <laughs> I don't really care that much, I guess. 12 ounces and decreasing each lift. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ed Valensky, yes, indeed. Yep. Okay, first, we got Brooke Anderson, first time watching. Hey, Brooke, thanks for watching. Welcome, welcome to the shallow water. You made it. Um, just ran my new 40 EFI HDR, and she screams. Nice, yeah. Yeah, she does. Is that, that's probably that new anniversary edition. Yeah. That's got the, uh, that side uh, trim switch, and it'll have the, uh, the new uh, momentary bump switch, yep. which is awesome. It is awesome. Yes, and probably the uh, grab bar the trim grab switch. bar trim switch. Give some love out to that because uh, I tried to run one without for a minute and <laughs> felt like I couldn't drive the boat anymore. <laughs> okay, send the snow to Lake Erie, please. All right, all, all of our snow that we're getting here. Okay, I think that is about. It. So, for those of you still watching, I still want to hear, um, write in what you think uh, Keith has, the illness. Keith is out sick. He's at home in bed answering our questions. <laughs> or so he says. Yeah. He's probably laying in a, in a coffin boat or something with his binoculars scouting out right. everything, getting his location. But uh, write those in, and we'll give a prize out to whoever, whoever he deems worth it. Keith, whatever, man. Just, just whatever. <laughs> Um, Glade, thank you so much for being with of us. Course. I really appreciate it. Of course. Um, have a great, have a great hunting season, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you soon. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Tune in next week for episode four on October 10th, next Wednesday. We are actually going to be back at your place. All right. We're going to be at BPS headquarters with Travis, and he's going to be teaching Keith and I to call, uh, call for some of those ducks. Awesome. I myself have actually never even held a duck call. Well, you'll be a perfect candidate. Then. So, this is going to be exciting. So, tune in next week. That's going to be at 3 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Join us. It's going to be crazy. Until then, this is the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey slash Glade. We'll see you next week.